Uh, hey everyone, this is Scott and we're live here at the River Raisin National Battlefield Park. We're just northeast of downtown Monroe. There's a little bit, also just a little bit north of the River Raisin, which actually flows from the Dundee area into Monroe and then eventually out over to Lake Erie, just on the other side of I-75, although you can't really see it. But anyway, uh, this is actually a very historic area, as this whole whole area, actually, the whole city of Monroe. Actually, this used to be the historic village of Frenchtown. And not to be confused with Frenchtown Township, which is actually just north of here. But yeah, this park actually was designated as a, as a Michigan historic site in 1956, and then actually got to like a got to a national battlefield status in 2010. So it's one of the it's one of the few national parks within the state of Michigan. What of course the most famous one being Owl Royal up in the middle of Lake Superior. Oh, there's not really a lot to actually see here, but let's we'll, we'll take a little walk around and basically try to recap the great history that was here. And yeah, unfortunately, they actually uh, removed the cannon that was here. But but anyway, just to provide a little a little bit of a background of the overall battle stuff. Actually, it was part of the War of eighteen twelve, which was fought back between the Americans and primarily the the British in Canada, or actually what is present day Canada. Also. And also with the with the with the Native American allies, or also referred to as Indians. But as a matter of fact, uh, in, in the summer of 1812, uh, Commander Hull actually wanted to basically uh, pull uh, pull into British Canada, like pretty much near Fort Malden in Amherstburg. Actually, a little side note. Actually, <laughs> although not on camera, I actually went there last weekend. To check out Fort Mullen. Pretty cool. I'll definitely want to go back there sometime in the future to do a to to, to do a video. But anyway, but yeah, unfortunately it didn't work out very well. They they got deterred and actually ended up losing the Michigan territory be because of that. And they pretty much got pushed further south toward the River Raisin, but they actually settled here in, well it's, well, it's now Monroe, into Frenchtown. They, they routed out the British and the Native American allies. And they pretty much settled here in late 1812, and of course that's leading up to the, to the main battle, which we'll talk about shortly. Hey, let's head over there a little bit. Not far from where we were, we're actually looking at an open field right now. If you've, at first, you're probably thinking, hey, hey, Scott, man, why are you filming just an open field? There's nothing to see. Well, actually, believe it or not, just around this area, in general, this is actually where, where, where the American forces actually camped out and, and on that January morning in 1813. To, which is basically the the main battle of Raisin, battle of the River Raisin. Basically, what happened that morning is all uh, the American soldiers were sleeping in the open field at their campsites, and the British and Native Americans basically came in and launched a surprise attack on them. They were they were quick to respond back, and actually, even the even the Kentucky militiamen. They were staying to the west of here. Actually, came in to help out, but but the, but the British and the Native Americans quickly seized the area and forced an American retreat. Basically, heading this way, about a quarter of a mile south toward the River Raisin, it was like it was around January twenty second. So the River Raisin was completely frozen over. So they basically tried to retreat down to down to what's now. Ohio. However, a lot of the 400 Americans actually were either killed or captured by the by the British forces. 
So yeah, unfortunately, yeah, that day a lot of a lot of American soldiers died that day. And even to this day, a, a little slogan from the from the battle: we always remember the raisin. All right, let's continue. We're along the eastern edge of the park and yeah, it's like, yeah, as I keep saying, although there's not really a lot to see here, but it's more about feeling and being felt in the presence of what was a once a historical battle, actually a, a, a little over 201 years ago. Actually, even by this bench, yeah. Last year was the bicentennial by a bicentennial of the of the battle. But yeah, pretty much shortly after the the American retreat here, General Winchester actually was captured by the by the uh, oh well, I wonder what that was. Anyway, was captured by the Wyandotte Indians that were around this area, but actually about a mile and a half south, he was captured by by them and basically they brought them up here basically to telling the, the remaining American forces here to surrender. In fact, when they saw a white flag, or at least the Americans saw the, a white flag approaching, they were uh, actually assumed that the British were surrendering. But uh, once they saw General Winchester wave it, then, then they basically knew that the battle was lost. But yeah, it's kind of kind of hard. It's almost hard to believe sometimes. Yeah, as you can see, way over there, that is. Let me zoom in a little bit. That's actually the the Monroe Coal Power Plant over there, and I-75. You can see all the cars on that. So it's kind of hard to believe. With like looking into 2014, there's all we have all these roads, railroads, I-75. We have the the coal power plant also of companies such as Lazy Boy, Tenneco in, in this area and and like 200 years uh, 201 years ago a, a huge battle took place here but yeah it's it's interesting interesting to think of how much has happened over the over the centuries Probably more so, like if you go to places in Europe where where a lot of battles were fought, like between the Hundred Years' War, the Seven Years' War, or what was the French and Indian War over here, as well as the Napoleonic Wars and both World Wars. All right, let's make our way back. Actually, a lot of nice scenery in, in here too. But yeah, after the after the battle over uh, 201 years ago, a lot of people he pretty much either went down to Ohio or up to the Detroit area throughout the rest of the Michigan territory. But uh, fortunately, uh, they eventually made made peace with the with the Native Americans that were living in the area. Because as a matter of fact, the British were telling telling the Indians basically to basically burn the rest of the so the settlements and stuff, but uh, they pretty much refused to do so. Definitely a pretty, definitely a pretty cool park. Unfortunately, yeah, there's yeah, the, so I keep saying there's definitely not much to see, but it's not as much of seeing things. It's more of um, taking a trip to taking a trip to a uh, imagination land. No reference to the South Park episode, <laughs> and just basically reimagining what happened. About 200, 201 years ago. Actually, before closing out today's video, I'll, maybe I'll take a brief walk over in here. Yeah, definitely, definitely pretty cool though. And a little fun fact: that later on in the War of 1812, the Americans would head back over to Fort Malden and actually capture the fort there which actually I'll, I'll be explaining more in a video over in 
whenever I do the video for Fort Meldon in Am Amherstburg, Ontario. Probably sometime next year, probably. And actually, this, as this park is pretty new, there, there's actually a lot of areas that are closed off to, to the public. So, with this being a, a newly in, inherited national park within the past few years, I can definitely see there being more additions to the park. So, definitely something to look forward to. Who knows, maybe, maybe a revisit, potentially, in a couple years. Well, anyway, this concludes today's video here. It's the River Raisin National Battlefield Park, and this is the Scott Man signing out, and remember the raisin.